name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Lord be with you. And good afternoon, everybody. And a very warm welcome to you all. Uh, today we come to celebrate this Requiem Mass for Franco, uh, praying that he may enter into the fullness of the joy of our risen Lord. The opening hymn talks about Christ coming and taking me home and what joy will fill my heart. And we know that Franco was made to share in the joy of the Lord. And for that, we very much pray for him. And we pray that he will rest in peace. And we pray also for Elmira and Elvina and Declan at this very, very difficult time, this time of immense pain and sorrow, that you will be consoled by the Lord and consoled by our prayers. And we pray for Emilita and Danny and all the family and all those who love him very dearly. So with faith and hope and love, we offer this Mass, placing Franco into the arms of our loving and merciful Saviour. So let us pray for him, let us pray for one another, and let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Franco, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Please be seated for the reading. Those who trust in him shall understand. 
Because grace had mercy, our way is only once, and his care is with the elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Amen. 
Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still, and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I'm going now to prepare a place for you. And after I've gone and prepared your place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Perhaps for a few moments, if we allow uh, the beautiful words uh, of these scriptures to speak to our hearts, and at the heart of them is a very central message, mercy, mercy. This is what Jesus uh, reveals to us. This is what lies in his heart and in the heart of God our Father. His mercy, his loving, tender kind kindness. That God is love right through. And so, with great faith and hope and love, we can offer this Requiem Mass for Franco and place him into the arms of our merciful and loving Saviour. You see, we have the Easter candle burning there. Uh, we are an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. Death is not the end. Jesus, in his great love, conquers death, tramples it down, and through his passion, death, and resurrection, wishes to draw as all to himself. And so we place Franco into the arms of our merciful and loving Saviour. And the words of that Gospel speak to us of the passionate desire of the Lord to share his life with you and me and with Franco. Jesus speaks about home and the importance of home and being at home and Jesus promising that Franco will truly be at home in our Father's house. So we allow that to console us, that the Lord will look after him, the Lord will cope, the Lord will care for him, and we can leave him therefore in his hands. 
And of course, through Jesus speaks to us, of course, about home. And in this Mass, you can remember lovingly uh, the ways in which he was uh, truly um, at home uh, with you. Um, truly at home. And think of the ways in which his life touched your lives with love and joy and care and interest. How is a good father and a good husband? He showed that love and his love for you, of course, is a reflection of God's love for us. So there are beautiful things, beautiful memories of him that you can carry uh, in your heart. Carry in your heart for always. They're a thing of beauty. They truly are a joy, a joy that lasts forever. So to count those blessings and give thanks for them. Give thanks for his loving, courteous personality and nature, for his care for you. Give thanks for the things that gave him joy in life, that his heart sang out with joy, his love for Portuguese songs and hymns. Give thanks for all that. And of course that psalm also speaks about us walking through dark times. And here and now, though it's very difficult, very hard, very sad, very painful, invite the Lord to be with you and to walk with you at this time. Let the Lord take you by the hand. Let the Lord comfort you and console you. So we offer this Mass for him. We place his life on the altar and we join with Jesus in making his offering to God our loving Father whose love will never let Franco go. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. And let us stand for the bidding prayers. God, the Almighty Father, raise Christ, his Son, from the dead. With confidence we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our deceased relatives and friends, that they may have the rewards of their goodness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all the sick, help them in their needs. Lord, hear us. 
Lord graciously hear us. Lord graciously hear us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God, our shelter and strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brother, Franco. Cleanse them and all the faithful departed of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Franco, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. Yes. Lift up your hearts. Yes. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. I remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Franco, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. I remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen.
and let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ.
Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Franco may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Franco in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him in the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Franco in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn to orders and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith till we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In peace, let us take Franco to his place of rest.
Fantastic.